Club Penguin is a game that many people grew up with. It's a kid-friendly game, so you can't swear, no violence, stuff like that. But one proud degenerate has taken it upon himself to turn Club Penguin into an 18-plus rated game, transforming the mini-games, the setting, the cosmetics into uh, more mature things, we should probably say. Honestly, I could definitely see Disney filing a lawsuit on this guy as I'm recording this intro. I remade Club Penguin, but it's rated R. Let's give it a Jared Fogle? Yes. They're all just judging me, just staring into my soul. Are following me, they're haunting me. My dad is yelling. It's not that bad. Silence, Club Penguin. The place where I got my first girlfriend. Or boyfriend. I, I guess I can't be sure that it was a girl. You know, now that I think about it, the penguins didn't even have genders. I guess the developers were a bit ahead of their time there. The original audience for Club Penguin, we're getting a bit old now. But just because- I was gonna say, I like how you can tell the type of creator you're watching when you see Wojax in like the first five seconds. We're older doesn't mean we can't capture the joy of Club Penguin in a way that relates to us now as adults. But what makes Club Penguin so great? Number one, we've got uh, social interaction. I think it's safe to say we can strike that one off the list. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, it means you're probably not Child the most predators. popular person around. So. <laughs> also, I didn't want to program netcode for a shitty meme game, so that leaves us with uh, mini games, fashion, and... Uh, oh, well, this is Club Penguin for adults, so I guess we can strike that last one off too. <laughs> now, before we start working, I need you to ask yourself something. Was Club Penguin a 2D game? Or was it a 3D game? Or was it neither? Or possibly both? When I picture the game in my mind's eye, it was obviously 3D. I mean, I remember the 3D model and the 3D animations. Bye. Sure, the background was 2D, but the game was in 3D space. I was so sure of this that I created a 3D project in Unity without a second thought. Stop right there! That is, until I watched this video by Chris Hendricks. He was one of the artists for Club Penguin. Chris shows off the Penguin model, some of the animations they use in the game, and the program they use to make the model and animations. But the 3D models themselves weren't used in the actual game at all. Chris would animate in 3D, and then use a camera in a fixed location to render those animations frame by frame to a sprite sheet. And this vectorized version of the penguins is what we see in game. Yeah, there was there was never any 3D space. But yeah, no, Club Penguin was never 3D. It was always it was always 2D. Maybe like 2.5D, but it's all an illusion. So we should make a 2D project then, right? Wrong, you dumb, dummy, stupid idiot, fucking moron. Just because that's what they had to do back in the day to get around the limitations of Flash doesn't mean we have to do that today. Okay, we have new technology now. We have new methods now. One of the drawbacks of their approach was that you had to render every single animation in the game every time you wanted to add a new item to the game. Even if you wanted to do something as simple as adding a new color, you still had to do this. Want a red penguin instead of a blue penguin? Well, you're gonna need a red penguin walk animation sprite sheet in eight different directions. You're gonna need a red penguin sit animation sprite You're gonna need a red penguin four different dance animation You're gonna need a red penguin sit animation sprite sheet. You're gonna need a red penguin. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, you get the idea. No, he killed them! You can see how this could quickly blow up and get out of hand. No, 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 no. 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 I'm gonna make my life easy by making this game in 3D space, so all we have to worry about is one penguin model. And all of his drip, of course. Bro just did mitosis. So I fired up Blender and I smooshed a bunch of shapes together until it started to look like the- What the fuck was that? So I fired up Blender and I smooshed a bunch of shapes together- Did anyone else's brain go there when they saw that? Or just me? ...together until it started to look like the Club Penguin Penguin. I tried searching the internet for a model first, but the results weren't, uh, the best. <laughs> and after about an hour, it's complete I had this shit. little fella. Isn't he cute? I mean, all the penguins look pretty soulless, to be fair. Now all I needed was some of that classic Club Penguin background art. So I made my way over to the Club Penguin wiki, where I found a bunch of... 2007-2008 era Club Penguin background art. I ran them through an AI image upscaler so I could increase their quality a bit, and then I tossed them in Photoshop where I could get to work painting over them to give them our own little unique touch for this game. And that's when I got to thinking, what exactly am I going to change about these backgrounds? And to answer that, I need to talk about Club Penguin mini games. Club Penguin had an amazing selection of mini games to play back in the day. You had bean counters, sl Bean 
trying to is he trying to Mandela effect us? Bean counter. That was that Club wasn't Penguin a thing. Had an amazing selection bean, of mini games to play back in the day. You had bean counter. You had bean counters. <laughs> What was I got to do with penguins? Sled racing. Cart okay, the sled racing one was actually cinema. That one was goated. Surfer. That one was way too hard. But my favorite was always Pizza Tron 3000. I don't know why, but rushing to get all the ingredients right as the conveyor gets faster and faster. Isn't that just like that every educational game thing where like you were making pizza for people or like food and they make an order? It was the perfect hit of dopamine for my undeveloped child brain. It also happens to most closely resemble the monotonous and soul-crushing work that many of us are used to as adults. Now that got me thinking, making pizzas every day in real life is a soul-sucking and shitty endeavor. Why is it so fun to do it in Club Penguin? I don't want to clock into Little Caesars every day and get paid real money to make real pizzas. It is weird though, right? Like how you can do something in a video game and it actually seems entertaining, but then in real life it just fucking sucks. It, it, it's like Power Wash Simulator, right? People love that game. Do you want to hoover your house? I don't think so. You want to wash your car? You don't have a car. You're 12. Sitting here getting paid fake money to make fake pizzas now. I can get behind that. And that's when I realized work work is work. It's work. But video game video work, game. it's not work. Those messy floors in your house really need cleaning? <laughs> Sorry. Too busy for all that. Haven't mowed the yard in a while. So your wife just shouting at you. It's like, can you mop the floor? It's like, no, I'm doing it in a video game. Gee, sure wish I could. There Why a... do you keep saying cinema when it's Kino, dumbass? Because I don't want to say the buzzword. I don't want to say the buzzword. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want the association. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I came out of fucking rehab. But this digital grass ain't gonna cut itself. And look at how fucking good it looks. God damn. But the Pizza Tron mini game. I mean, it, it's close, but it's missing something that'll. I'm mowing in game, wife. Shut up. <laughs> feel in the audience for this game. At this point, we're used to much harsher workplace conditions. We need a job that will subject our penguin to the scrutiny of the penguins around him. And that brings me back to our backgrounds. We're gonna be turning the pizza parlor into a subway. Okay. Hey. I don't like where this is going. That. You can't just use Subway's branding like that, okay? Former Subway spokesman and convicted sex offender Jared Fogel. Yes. Aren't you supposed to be in prison? And why do you give a fuck? You're not the spokesman for Subway anymore. Despite my current status- Why are you a ghost? You're not even dead yet. Despite my current status, I still care deep- Your status in prison or your status as a ghost? Silence. Despite my current status, I still care deeply for the Subway brand, and that is why I insist- Do you think Jared Fogel's even allowed to eat a Subway sandwich now? He probably has like a contract- Con- 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 cra Contractual. Holy shit, I had a brain aneurysm. Contractual agreement to like not eat a single you Subway sandwich. The watch in the corner while the sandwiches are made. Oh. All right. I mean, I don't see why not. W wait, wait, wait. You know this is Club Penguin for adults, right? There's not going to be any kids in there. Oh. No kids. Oh, get the mm. fuck out of here, Jared Fogel, you goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> Hate that guy. All right, let's get rolling on these backgrounds. Okay, he's got the subway. All right. Oh my, he's drawing. Oh my. He actually got the tablet pen for the... Okay, jail. I like that. I like that. That's a good touch. Dude, he's actually redrawing everything and it looks like it's in the same Club Penguin art style. That's actually wild. Okay. Kind of edgy, but you know, it, it is meant to be an 18. Yeah, we got the we got the little, little chair set up. Little vlogging camera as well. What's the coffee going to be changed to? Guns. I mean, that's just America, isn't it? What's the nightclub? Str oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Just drawing a little club penguin character with a milk is out. Okay. Weed shop. <laughs> so is this, it's just, it's just meant to be like uh, Texas now? It's not really like an 18 server. Smoke shop. <laughs> Guns for adults. <laughs> As opposed to guns for children. Oh, he didn't drink the sugar-free version. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sugar's the enemy. I love this dramatic filming. A complete and utter art form. Okay, gun. Okay. Okay, guns and Club Penguin. I do not see a problem with this. I don't I don't see a problem with this. Actual GTA 5 gun store. I, I got... Is he... Is he drawing on a vape? Is he drawing on a... Don't me, I'm scared. Oh, my God. He's drawing... He's drawing on a vape pen. I gotta admit, like... 
Well, this guy is actually really creative to draw this stuff. And it looks like the exact same Club Penguin art style as well. Don't don't tell this guy, by the way, about David Dobrik taking 100 pictures a day and getting 10 mil a year for it. Water pipes. <laughs> Just a fan. Yes! It's ready! It's ready! I'm excited. Oh my god. You know he actually drank all them as well. Is this guy is this guy related to Asmongold? Oh, I like the background. Hank! Don't tell him about the 18 plus server! Hank! Hank! Well, it was awfully time consuming making those backgrounds, but uh, I think it'll be worth it in the long run. The pizza parlor is now a subway, of course. Okay, the subway. Uh, the pet store is now a jail. Okay. I like that. That's good. The coffee shop is now a gun store. Nice. And the dance club, uh, it's uh, still basically a dance club. True, true. And the gift shop is now a smoke shop. And the smoke shop in my game is perfectly legal, all right? They filed their paperwork with the state of uh, Wisconsin. Wait. Oh, fuck. I mean, uh, Alaska? Alaska. So that means YouTube can't demonetize this video. With the artwork done, I created a new Unity project and I gave it a proper name. I added my backgrounds and penguin model to the project and I got to work on implementing some oh, of the Oh, it literally is 3D, yeah. <laughs> and Rip. that's when I reached the first major hurdle of the project. Like I mentioned earlier, Club Penguin was a 2D game that used images of 3D models to make the game feel 3D. It wasn't actual 3D but my version is actual 3D. You'd think it'd be as simple as putting in a top-down camera and plopping our penguin on the background, but it's not that simple. The backgrounds in Club Penguin weren't drawn from a top-down perspective. They were drawn from about a 45 degree angle. And this gives the illusion of 3D space and depth when it's really just a flat background. So to make this actually work in 3D space, either our background and our camera need to be at an angle, or our penguin needs to be at an angle. But either way, you had to balance two perspectives. At first, I tried something like this, but I wanted to use physics-based movement, and this setup isn't ideal for that. We were being pulled down, yeah, but at an angle. This meant forces applied to our penguin would be weaker when facing certain directions. So I switched to a top-down view, and I angled our penguin. This fixes our gravity issue, but not our issue with uneven forces. I can't use our penguin's direction to control the forces on it, because it's always pointed at an angle. To apply force evenly, I needed to apply it on this hey, axis. So well, that's easy, right? Just create a parent for the penguin. Penguin that faces this way and apply forces to that. And that's all fine and dandy, except when you rotate that parent object, your penguin rotates like this. We need to move around this axis, but rotate around this one. And I know there's a math solution for this, but I'm an artist. I wasn't paying attention during algebra. I was drawing pictures of Spider-Man. But fortunately, this person was paying attention in algebra, and they had a similar problem while creating a mounted turret. So I stole their code. You can see thief! here our game view looks pretty much like what the normal Club Penguin looks like. But if I switch over to the scene view here, here you can see what the actual world looks like. Handling it this way uh, basically means we get to use rigid body movement for our player. Uh, and if you don't know what that means, uh, it basically means we get to use physics and ragdolls. And who doesn't love those things? Now that we can actually walk around in game, I got to work rigging up our penguin friend in Blender. If you aren't familiar with rigging, uh, a character rig is kind of like an action figure. It's a series of joints connected together that can move and rotate, allowing you to make animations for your models. I used our new rig to make this cute little walk animation. Oh, he's a baby. He's a little baby. Now that I spent way too much time figuring that out, I could finally move on to our Subway mini game. I fired up Photoshop right. and put together a basic I want, I want to see how he twists these in a completely evil a way. I want to see. In the original Pizzatron to increase variety and difficulty. I hooked up some basic controls and made sure they were working. Touching tomato. Touching, touching, uh, touching chicken. Then I jumped right back into Photoshop and created the real artwork for the mini game. You need to make sure that you add the subway employee that always gets the order wrong as well. You, you, you always need to add that. You need to make sure you always have the one guy that does not understand you and he just gets the order wrong. And he gives you the wrong bread, gives you the wrong protein, and then he just adds tomatoes when no one asked. Okay, that is way too fast. Not even close. <laughs> They're all just judging me, just staring into my soul. I, I don't know what to tell you. There's no more tomatoes. You just It kind of sounds like they're... Uh... Like the board, you're like a big amalgamation of penguins. I like how they're just clipping into each other as well. Robotic droning sound. 
After a couple days, I was finished. Here's how it works. Customers pop in. And there's evidence of it. Hello what? there. <laughs> and they give you a random order. You have to place the correct ingredients before the sandwich reaches the end of the conveyor. Okay. You get the order right, you're rewarded coins equal to the number of ingredients. Didn't even say thank you, by the way. If you get the order wrong, the customer kindly lets you know. What are you, stupid? You suck. LMAO. LMAO. Wrong. Wrong. Not even close. Did you even graduate high school? This is like actual one life. Subway. As you play, the this is how actual Subway customers act, by the way. Orders get more and more complex, and the conveyor gets faster. Oh my fuck. And if you lose three lives, you lose the minigame. I made the minigame difficulty scale infinitely, and I even created an online leaderboard. So you all can compete against each other to see who the best gamer is, or who has the most offensive username. My score is... Yay! So if you think you're more of a gamer than me, feel free to try and beat it. Bitch. But be warned. I'm fast. Well, there you have it. We've successfully recreated Club Penguin with our own unique spin on it. And you thought I was going to stop there, huh? There's got to be more. Ah! Come on, give us some more We're slots. We're not stopping. I mean, I could, but I can't stop thinking about making this look and feel like a comically inappropriate version there's gotta be of some more Penguin. there's gotta be some Plus, more i want to spend all that time painting environments for you to just walk around them with nothing to do also at this point i have spent a ridiculous amount of hours making this game so what's 20 or 40 maybe or the costumes more? so we're making the costumes a combat system okay that's right club penguin combat oh my okay that actually sounds goated though i'd like that i would i would guy. play club penguin if, if that was the thing you just run around and, like, shoot random people in a video game. That sounds kind of cracked, though. Holy shit, looks better than the Modern Warfare guns. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to think we shouldn't trust this guy with weapons. There's just something about his eyes. So here are all the guns. We've got a Glock. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me just... Ah, that's better. We've better. got a Glock. I like that. We've got an like AR, that. a Draco, a Henry rifle, and best of all... RPG. An RPG. And do you remember that gun store from earlier? Well, now you can spend your hard-earned coins on purchasing weapons in the gun store, which can be used to fuel murderous rampages on the NPCs around the game. But don't worry, it's only comical cartoon violence. It's not that bad. Oh my god. Alright. That's, uh... But your actions have consequences. That's pretty intense. And harming innocent penguins will trigger a response from the Penguin Response Initiative for Criminals and Killers. Prick. That's these guys, right? Here. <laughs> They're supposed to look like SWAT, but in game they kind of look like those guys in those videos on TikTok where it's like a woman at the gym and she's recording herself working out. They're not doing the anything. Like They're just walking around being shot. Glances over. I thought they at fight her, back. And then like she doesn't say anything right then, but after she's done working out, she walks to her car and she talks into her phone camera for like four or five minutes about how she was. Just I like how the SWAT are called in and they're just guy. walking around waiting it's, to die. Uh, it kind of looks like those guys. Anyway, I got tired of it looks fun. combat. And it, it looks like Postal 1. If any of you have heard of Postal, Postal 1 was like a top-down, like isometric. Any little area, so I designed a bigger arena to test combat out in. And I got to work hooking everything up. And when I was finished, many, many days later, we had blood effects. <laughs> ragdolls. It really is America. UI, camera shake. Oh, they've got little buttons. We had enemy AI added in now. God, uh, their dead bodies are following me. They're haunting me. This kind of reminds me of something. I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff I'm forgetting. Uh, it's all kind of a blur. I gave the pricks billy clubs. We're going to leave it. We're, we're going to leave it just like that. Perfect. There's nothing Looks innuendo great. about that. Uh, oh, yeah. I recorded uh, sounds for when the enemies die. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having to record yourself do that. Yeah, I'm kind of summarizing. Uh, getting all this added was a much larger undertaking than I originally thought it would be, which I'm beginning to realize is a theme with game development. That's why I said this video would be out at the start of the year, and I'm now months past that. So after the dust settled and the bugs were squashed, 
I was left with a mildly entertaining horde mode. I made sure to make it endless and the difficulty scale that actually time, just like with the subway. That menu. legitimately and looks course, fun though. That actually looks fun. I'd play that. For this as well. So knock yourself out. Prove you're a real gamer. Uh, make your parents proud. Okay, now I can finally stop there. Put a bow on this thing and oh fuck, I forgot about fashion. Hang on, hang on. Okay, Chat. we're nearly let's done. Model we're some nearly outfits done. real quick in Blender and whoop, 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 whoop. there they are. How I, I want to see the outfits he comes editing. up with. I want to see the outfits. Crazy. We've got a subway uniform equipped with a nice branded apron. Okay, that's that's cool. I like that. Subway, I like that. Of course. We've got a prison outfit for all you naughty boys. I like that one. That one up at the jail. There's a stereotypical stoner Rasta outfit that could I be like the mildly weave. racist. I'm not entirely sure. It wasn't my intention. And here we have the gimp suit. What the from the gentleman's club in town. Hell? At first, you might mistake this oh for my a robber costume, God. but on closer inspection, <laughs> and for each outfit, I spent way too long painting a catalog image for them to show them in their true glory in that old Club Penguin style, just like the old catalogs Oh the my game. God. Dude, the gimp suit. That's hilarious. There actually was a gimp suit in Postal 2 as well. Amazing. Amazing. The ball chain! The chain ball! <laughs> okay. The gimp suit. What the hell was going on there? <laughs> I just... He looks so happy! All the others are like, they're kind of genius, right? But then, like, he actually looks so happy, and then just all his happiness taken away. <laughs> considering you're a furry, I find it hard to believe you haven't played Club Penguin. I did play it. I, I played it, like, uh, for a video, like, Jesus, like, five years ago now? That's the last time I played it, though. Just visit any of those stores in town and click the catalog to check out your drip options and conduct a transaction. That is... There are a thousand coins each. I would which, I would uh, buy the latex one. I would, I would, shift I would buy that. Earn, but we know sandwich artists aren't exactly known for bringing home the bread. I'm pretty sure that's a health code violation. <laughs> and after that, I sprinkled in some small touches to the game, like adding open doors to all the buildings in the game, adding dancers to the gentleman's club. Don't sue me, PCs, Disney. Sees random messages. My dad is yelling. <laughs> Leave me alone. I mean, that's that's just normal Club Penguin chat. You would actually get like an eight-year-old saying, "My dad's yelling." He got the belt again. Fixing up the UI, fixing a ridiculous amount of bugs. Work on these guys. Oh my god, it crashed my game. Adding a settings <laughs> menu and it's done. Well, there you have it. All right, that was good. I like that. The scenery sure is pleasant from my hot squid balloon. Hi. <laughs>